Namaste, my beautiful co-creators. I am Isolde Kellerman, and welcome to Journey of Awe. I have a very special guest for you today, all the way from Slovenia. Our purpose is to bring you the latest education, knowledge, and, um, and programs to educate you, inspire you, and to illuminate the collective consciousness. Today's topic is going to be energetic neurology and vibration. And um, I have a guest who's been tapping into this wisdom, and uh, and he's a vibrational coach and numerologist from Slovenia. Welcome, Bosniak. How are you? Oh, I'm great. You really you start very well. I, I'm I'm a little bit surprised. <laughs> I'm well, great. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome <laughs> to Journey of All. <laughs> Uh, can I see maybe uh, another people here somewhere, some pictures, who is here uh, on the I, Actually, call? it's only two of us who are hosting the show, so the rest of them are viewers. Uh-huh, uh, all right. So, uh, yeah. I, I should introduce myself a little bit. Yes, please do so. <laughs> okay, it's my turn, all right. So, I'm, uh, I'm Bosnia, I'm coming from Slovenia, Europe, um, so how came... The, probably the most important question is today how did I came uh, along with uh, with uh, numerology with uh, energetic and in and uh, how to be so much hungry for knowingness for knowledge you know maybe yes. this, yeah maybe this was inside of me already from the childhood but then somewhere along the way you know um, like prob probably most of us uh, I lost a little bit. It's not so a little bit. I, I I've been married mm -hmm. before. Uh, I I used to I used to that was that was a nice story. I used to work on the ship. Uh, I I met a beautiful wife there, uh, and uh, I'm still um, very grateful to her because actually she brought me to this path. I was. I turn a little bit on the side, and then uh, when we met, she 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 passed me one book. Mm -hmm. It was one book from uh, from one um, uh, one master. Maybe probably you heard of already, uh, Osho. Yes. You know? yes, yes. Yeah. I, I, that was that was uh, that was on my path. One book like this. That book really inspired me. You know to. To dig a bit deeper and to be more hungry, you know, for a knowledge. Yes, but and don't you and don't you think that when you open the door to the path of knowledge, you know, to to become more enlightened and to become more self-realized, there's no way back, isn't it? I, yeah. I I just you want more and more of that. Yeah, it, like you said, is all there is no way back. Uh, uh, at least if you if you don't want to go like this, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If you don't want to, uh, it's too late because you know better. <laughs> yeah, it's too late because you know better. I, exactly, and uh, the life uh, also give you uh, another opportunities or uh, or test. You know, uh, energy always tests us. You know, we we meet the people not by coincidence. Everything what what is happening, it's. Uh, all the time give us something what we need to acknowledge to move on to move higher you know to move higher to more light to be uh, to have to have more clean conscious you know to understand more what is really all about so how why numerology and vibration so how did you what intrigued you to to go on that path uh, yeah, that was really some uh, some story, you know. I used to work on some uh, um, uh, some multi-level uh, uh, marketing, and uh, I had a meeting on. Uh, I I still remember. I had a meeting on the one reception in uh, our capital city in Ljubljana, mm -hmm. and you know, the table next to me uh, actually was. Uh, the 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 lady with her with her daughter uh, she actually brought this business to Slovenia mm -hmm. and um, they had some client um, and the, in in that marketing we used to use we used to use uh, some some scanner where you can scan where you can scan uh, what is your level of uh, uh, antioxidants you know yeah. how is your level uh, of, of 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 your wealth or your health actually yeah. you know 
But the point is that the, that guy who came there, you know, to this like uh, interview, um, he have actually very good score. But the most uh, uh, important in the story is and was that uh, uh, he didn't uh, eat proper food or something like that. Actually, you know, no no proper diet, but he scored yeah. great. You know, and why is, was his score great? Because he trained himself. Because he was mostly or 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 train himself to be happy. You know, to be happy yeah. because, uh, like probably you somewhere see already that happiness is the true already. We have uh, very different levels of truth, but that is one of the highest levels. You know, if you can not react, if you can just be in like a, in peace, you know, and see what is going on, you know. Yes, because Understand? reaction, don't you think, reaction, when you examine the word reaction, it's reacting. And usually we react from subconscious programming. And that, and that, is, and that is usually not the best way to see the big picture. So that for is, us to really never see the, the whole way. picture, you have to pull back and and examine the situation without reaction and looking at for the highest benefit of all. Yeah, if, if you can see that, if you can see that, that is one thing and then when you acknowledge this, that this everything actually all goes like this, then maybe you start to become a little bit more hungry, you know, how to clean your mess if, if you like like this, you know, because we are all full of the some programs, can you imagine that in our bodies uh, are programs for five gen generation behind and can you imagine w where was maybe your gran grandma or grandpa, maybe in some war or something, you know? When you go, if you want to reach higher levels, you have to have like a very high tests go mm -hmm. past, you know, in your life. So, yes. that is, that is um, uh, and on this way, Many things gonna come out, you know, out of your surface. Many things you even cannot imagine they are there, but they are. Mm -hmm. So these old blueprints, what we bring, um, do you think that we can rewrite these blueprints by looking at numbers in our life? Uh, not, not just uh, looking by the numbers, but yes. It's not only that we look by the numbers. Uh, the numbers are there like like a tool, you know, like a tool. Just that it's a knowledge, you know. Everything is a frequency, you know. When 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 you uh, when you are connected with some master, uh, he reach already that that level and that frequency. He can connect you there, you know. If if you don't know nobody and you you don't have access, you don't have knowledge, you cannot come there alone. It's I mean it's very very tough, you know. It, it's tough to reach by your own. So, yeah. do you think, you know, going back to numbers, everything in the universe is is mathematical. Everything is based on numbers. So, mm -hmm. when you look at, for example, our date of birth, do we come with a pre-written um, destiny that we have to um, address in our lifetime, or or how does it? What are the numbers really mean in our life? Yeah, that is really depend on what you do with that, you know, like, you know, uh, like I can give you one, uh, one box and uh, you have there, there your, uh, your sister, give you, uh, I can give her the same box and what you gonna do with this box and what she's gonna do with this box can be a very different story, you know, but okay, you, I can see, I can check what is your, what is your data, you know, what is your, what are your programs, but not like classical numerology, you know, you have to have access to the frequency, you know, this is not like I'm going to read the book and then I can tell you what, uh, what, uh, what is you, what you should do. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not accurate, you know, because then I'm going to tell you this thing today and maybe you you are walking on the path, you are uh, developing yourself, you are reaching higher and higher and you come back and I can tell you again the same story. It's not about this. Energetic numerology going to tell if the people have the same numbers, I'm going to tell a very different story to this one and to this one. 
So because it's due to our free will, what we do with that to reach our potential? Yeah, of course. So free will has yeah, and free, free, will, will. free will comes in and if you reach potential, it's only about us. Yeah. So yeah. how can you know, I, I always say that the best and, secret... And, uh, so, uh, sorry, I have to tell something secret. here. You know, and one thing is uh, very tricky, you know, God, uh, God, uh, God really likes to have funny stories, you know. <laughs> so uh, you're going to see on your journey and everybody, mm -hmm. including me, that, you know, on that place or on that area where you have, where you have most scared or most um, shy or most, uh, I don't know what, you, uh, most not so confident, in that area, it's your potential. So uh, usually, usually it's always like this: that this thing, what you don't want to do, that is your path to do it. So, so actually, there is great opportunity in challenges. Yes. Exactly. That is the so, path. So, do you think that by contrast, we expand our consciousness? You know, when we when we see a challenge, it's asking us to to see through it like it's an illusion of duality, and breaking through it, we can receive the gift and expand. Yeah, but but you know uh, the uh, but can you uh, can you imagine what is the greater gift inside of this? What you just said, that is the path. That is really the path. That is the. Uh, how to say that? <laughs> yeah, that is the the best path. But um, how you gonna push yourself to 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 set yourself to the higher challenges? And why? You know, you should know why you should do that. Because if you don't know why, you 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 cannot succeed. So without intention, without clear intentions, you cannot really get there. So you have to ask the right questions. Yeah. Exactly. You have to have clear intention, you have to set your challenge, and you should know why you, you, you will do that. Mm -hmm. You should know why, because uh, uh, without why, you, you're doomed. Yes, I mean, without clear directions, even the brain doesn't know where to go, so you have to have a clear intention to get but, to, get to but your goal. No, already, if you look around for society for, for a little bit, you know, if you look around a little bit, uh, I, I mean, here in Slovenia, in any way, I'm, I, I will move soon out. Uh, Slovenia, I'm uh, sorry, it's a really, really beautiful country, but but uh, if I compare this uh, 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 with the knowledge, with the acceptance of this knowledge, what we are just talking about now, and uh, uh, how is situation in the uh, States, maybe, it, this is very different levels, you know, it's very... Uh, it's much better to stay there and work, uh, work this kind of things. I mean, you know, because the people are much more open. You know, people are much more open for this kind of knowledge. And it's not only about knowledge. You have to, you, you know, there is always the fight between white and black. You know, between positive energy and between negative energy. And uh, the people um, mostly even don't know when they they are connected with negative energy. You know. And why do you think is that? I mean, I noticed the same way about Eastern Europeans that, I mean, I, I, am, I was born in Eastern Europe as well, in Ukraine. And visiting back um, just recently, I noticed that, do you think because life is too hard and people focus on, on the problem too much instead of seeking for the solution? Yeah, probably, probably is a bit here. Uh, you know the system before already. Okay, it's moving on. It's moving on, but it's uh, uh, f uh, if you ask me, it's still a little bit sl too slow now. <laughs> but it's slow. <laughs> it's, but it's a progress. But it's a progress. You know, in any way, you cannot stop this because uh, the frequency on the planet is getting higher. So we cannot stop this. This is gonna go further. This is gonna go higher. We we can just make this happen faster. And uh, what we're going to do along this way, uh, it's going to, the time going to give us answer what kind of cap capabilities we will have in the near future. So, know, what, 
what made you different? I mean, for example, you grew up in Slovenia. What, in, what intrigued you that, that made you different from everyone else? I was, I was always a bit different, you know, if I, if <laughs> I, can, if I can say. I, I, didn't, I, I really didn't ever want to fit in. Actually, maybe sometimes I want to fit in, but I, I, I feel that this is, wasn't me, you know? Yes. You know? You know I, I feel the same way. I always felt that the stork dropped me off on the wrong continent. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, it's a very, very right continent. You know the. Oh, uh, my God! You know if if um, this is very, very good the thing. So people here like um, like a program on Earth. Mm -hmm. A few years ago was like this. You are born, then you go to to some very, very old-fashioned school, you know, where they teach you how to be a good employee, you know, and then they put you in the program of 40 years enslavement, and then you can go to retire, you know, and and live in some, uh, you know, charity, actually, you know, and people, without asking, they just uh, take this path. They follow, you know? they follow yeah. the herd mentality. Yeah. Yeah. They follow the crowd, and if you if you don't fit in, it's actually you. You are winning in in any case because that path. I, I don't see nothing nice here. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know how about uh, other people on the on the call. Somebody can tell something, or just we we two are. Um. <laughs> Somebody can. <laughs> I don't see the comments right now. I'm I'm a little bit new at this, but. Um, but just going back to that, but don't you think that growing up in, in Eastern Europe, it gave you a contrast to give birth to a new desire to, to break out? I mean, to me, looking back that experience, you'll see that it will prepare you for something that's bigger and better coming into your life. It was like, I mean, life in general is like a big school, but what direction do you take? and how do you use those tools that prepare you for what's coming it's really it was useful to me like g growing up in Russia it helped me to to survive anything that came along you know going to a new country learning a new language because life was really hard in Soviet Union at the time when I was growing up so mm -hmm. it taught me to survive and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have an experience too that Although the contrast, the, you know, the negativity, it's not really, doesn't feel good while we are doing it. No. But later on, you can appreciate all the gifts that gave you in the long run. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is, that, that, that is what, uh, what is all about challenges, you know. If you accept them, uh, it's, uh, it's maybe from the start when you, uh, actually they are good. When you understand the big yeah, picture, yeah. When you understand when you, the purpose when, of when, it, when you when you can uh, set yourself out from the story a bit and uh, go and uh, you know see from uh, another perspective, then then they are good because you understand what you are getting. I before I before I told you if you understand something a little bit uh, bigger also on the path, you you set challenge when you when you reach the challenge, you get something uh, excellent, but you know. Uh, it's uh, some uh, a bigger and higher word. You mm -hmm. you you when you reach this, you you reach the higher level. You reach higher uh, frequency, and actually, you 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 are a bit more healthy than you've been before. You know, this uh, is health healthier or happier. You said hel he uh, both healthier mm -hmm. and happier. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So. Yeah. When when you're talking about human vibration, how could you how could you really describe it? Are are we really sound? Are we light? Or how could you describe the human body that we can change our vibration? Because when you look at it, it's it's a mass, it's a solid mass. But when you go into the molecule structure, actually we're most more more space than than mass, and we share this energetic field, what we call the matrix. So, how can we raise our vibration? Just uh, with our intention, what we want, what we we'll, uh, what we want to do, and with the clear one thousand percent decision. You know, 
and uh, when you do this you have you accept the challenge already and when you accept the challenge then the many things start to happen then uh, all the old uh, stuff what is in inside of you for example in you you have also uh, I told you already last time, you know. But yes. You just, when you call, <laughs> Take me apart. Take me apart. <laughs> no, but um, I, I, I just, you know, when we make connection, I right, right away got a message. Aha, uh -huh, she have uh, this program in this area is something not good. You know, right away, you know, because if you train, if you learn to be in the flow, you know, you, yes. you will get information, you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, like. If I give you now example, uh, for example, uh, Donald Trump, huh? we yes. probably everybody know him, you know. Yeah. If we, if we give him a challenge for one million dollar, you know, that is not a challenge for him, you know. Yes. He can he can uh, he can uh, finish with this challenge in one minute for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how long do you need, and how long I need, and how long everybody else need on the call? That is that is the difference between levels. You know, that is the difference between so levels. How long, how long do we need? That means yeah, that is yeah, that is just the that is just the path that in this time we can uh, we can eat this that we are capable to do this and to believe this. Mm -hmm. So it's based on belief, yes. So yeah. the time what we gave ourselves to reach a goal, it's really based on our beliefs. Yes, the, uh, on our ego, on our programs. Our programs, and if we yes. Can, if, and if we are capable to put this on the side, and uh, I prefer you to have some coach with you all mm -hmm. the time, because, you know, if we have a coach beside you, you can move much faster. That, yes. that every Everybody, every every successful people going to tell you this. Yeah, that to is, have a mentor. Is 100% sure. So if you... If you if you have a master or somebody who train you beside you or you can reach him on the call or something and you have some challenge and you are capable to put these all programs and ego on the side and you are capable to open yourself, mm -hmm. you can accept uh, or or get or take this or eat this uh, message much faster or right away. It depends who who you are working with. Mm -hmm. And for example, when you look at a client, you know, the, the information, what you told me about me, for example, that was like an eye-opening, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so how do you receive your information? How do you see a problem show up? Do you see it in their aura? Do you see it in numbers? Do you see it in a vibration? What, what is the language that you communicate with this field? Hi, you know, I just received the message, you know, like, uh, like like a thought, but it's actually the message. You 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 know the difference, you know. You mm -hmm. know the difference. So when you are on, in the flow, when you are like in peace, then uh, then in any way you you're gonna receive uh, better instructions. I can tell you. Yeah. Better instruction. So yeah. and when you and when you see when you hear these messages, mm -hmm. does the answer come as well, or the solution how to fix that problem? Uh, yes, sometimes, you know, uh, it, it depends what kind of challenge, you know, it depends, uh, it depends what you are doing inside of you, you know, are mm -hmm. you in peace, then yes, if you are not in peace, then, uh, then something bothering you, what you have to put away, you know, something it's, that you have it's to all about you and what are you doing with your, with your life position, what are you are doing, you know. I see. So when you um, go through challenges, is it our reaction to the challenge that will repeat the pattern? Or um, where can we kind of break the spell of, of these reoccurrences and, and patterns that we, we don't like? Uh, <laughs> yes, like I said before already, when, when you decide, really, when you decide, you, you're not going to do it. That's it, period. So that's how we raise our bar. That's how we break the pattern, the spell of beliefs. Yes. Uh, exactly. That you recognize it. Actually, actually, are more ways. You know, you can set yourself a higher challenge. You know, 
you don't need to you don't need there are many 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 things here I cannot tell everything today you know because uh, we're not gonna stay here a few hours <laughs> yeah. but, uh, uh, you can also with meditation you can change uh, your programs you know it, it depends how capable are you how how well are you meditating are you doing this every day and uh, if you can really uh, really relax every cell in your body and be open that energy can like flush bad things out of you you know and recharge you that is actually the the, the, the point in the meditation you know to, to recharge yourself to, to clean bad stuff out of you so when we're going back to our in, in your opinion you know when we come to this plane of three dimension and earth what is our mission here why do we come back to clean our soul so to and is it due to karmic deaths are we come here to experience something more to understand more or what is the main purpose um, I, I guess uh, now in this time uh, it's uh, a bit higher purpose because uh, we are now just in the the like beginning of the big big change on the planet you know because in uh, you have to you have to know that this planet was on the negative energy now for a uh, few millenniums mm -hmm. and uh, it, this is everything about to change and mm -hmm. we have a really like important mission here it's uh, like every people count everybody who is uh, like a positive who give uh, light further and help another people and uh, you you know you cannot help another people if you if you don't walk the path you know yes exactly so you have to you have to um, uh, walk your talk that's how the Americans say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, going back to numbers. So, for example, how? What is? You know, we talked about that. The, that the best secrets are hidden in plain sight. What was your biggest aha moment when you realized that maybe you don't see life? the way it was presented to you yeah this is actually not so long time ago in the last few days I have a I just uh, solve some uh, a bit bigger challenge you know and when you when you when you do this you move uh, better energy gonna cover you 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 gonna have some new insights new acknowledgement yeah when the biggest aha moment is when when you you know when you can really acknowledge when ego talk to you when when you can know aha this comes from a negative side I don't need to listen this mm -hmm. and and when you know what you should do you know how you can put this on the side and you know when you are like feeling in 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 power you know because before you are uh, not uh, not so sure not so confident in many many areas and when you when you acknowledge this aha this work everything like this so I have to do like this uh, aha when I put something like when I'm in the challenge I, I usually uh, act like this but uh, and then uh, what is the result in the end aha result was not good so result actually was already 100 times not good so I have to change something you know so you know, you're changing are you changing your perception in the in the process so that so the key is to look at the problem differently yes uh, the key is to acknowledge what programs are you just let it play you know mm -hmm. and when it start to play you have to push the bot button stop and uh, play which one you want I see. So you have to override that, recognize and override, and let go. Exactly. I see. <laughs> so when you when you're talking about numbers, for example, I see a lot of reoccurring numbers in my life. Does it mean anything, or is it, or is it just? Of course, um, everything. What are you are seeing in your life? Everything have some some meaning to your life. Especially if some numbers are like re repeatedly coming, don't tell me that this is some eleven maybe in your case. 
<laughs> yes, it's 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how can I know that, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, I see 11 everywhere. It's, it's 1, 11, 11, 11. This means... 10, 11, 11 by itself, but mostly 11. 11, 11. is, uh, is, 11 is a master number, but uh, 11 have uh, some, uh, some, uh, some catch. I mean, every yes. number have a catch, but 11 have a very catch because... Uh, 11s are very good also for the business. They are straight. They when when they decide something is really hard to move them, mm -hmm. you know, on the on the side. But uh, the the higher challenge 11 have in the partnership because mm -hmm. because 11 really don't have a program for a partnership. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you told me about that. You need, <laughs> you need to reinstall new program. You know. Yeah, and if you can, if you're gonna look your your life back, and you know what is, what is the trick in the life? Uh, mostly, what we think that is happening, it's actually quite opposite. You know, what we think is mostly really not true. Mostly really not true. What we think is mostly really not true. So when you go higher, higher, and then you, ah, okay, <laughs> this is really amazing. You know, and uh, like. I have uh, some issue not so so far back. Uh, I I thought that I was like not confident enough, but actually it was uh, opposite. I, I I was in some areas too confident in myself, and I didn't have results long long time. I I've been like a, a, a in the sleep for maybe seven years, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. If I look back to, to the year when I was like uh, till my 30, uh, wow, I, my life was quite, I, I mean, I always go with the flow, something. I, I did stupid things, many stupid things, but, uh, but I have actually many, many well experienced. I did many, many, many nice challenges, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. But don't you think you learn from those challenges? Uh, I mean, cool. nothing. Nothing really wasted in the universe. You see, the way I look at it is that although we, we, we may seem that it's a mistake, but it leads you back to an old subconscious belief that's seeking attention. So, so it's always just a little reminder, going back to the loop, bringing your attention to it, and then it gives you the opportunity to, to rewrite the story, to recognize the pattern, and release it. So there is nothing really wasted. That's that's how I look at it. That's yeah. that's the meaning what I can give it to. Yeah, you can look like this. It's a good way of looking it, but um, uh, it's also another story to it because uh, if you if you see faster, if you acknowledge faster, you can move higher much faster, and you can help people much faster because. I can tell you now that there, there are billions of people out there, they need this knowledge, what we're just talking about, you know, they need it. And they do are, you think they, they are, are ready indeed. to hear it? Sorry? Do you think they are ready to hear it? Uh, you know, this is not uh, our case. Uh, who is ready to hear it going to come to you? Yes. You don't, you don't need to think about that, because this is already... The, the the masters the master plan is already like this you cannot by coincidence meet somebody this is might happen just once or two they test you how you're gonna react if you are ready if you are ready to teach it you know if you are strong enough but uh, otherwise you uh, who you who's gonna come to your path it's uh, it's so ready to that you can give him something and he's gonna give you something as well Mm -hmm. I see. So, yeah. so how can numerology reach or bring out our potential? Because every number has a different vibration. What, what, how can we utilize this knowledge? Uh, it's uh, like I said before. It's very good to be open when somebody uh, gonna explain this uh, this knowledge in you. It's never the point you hear it and try to remember it. Mm -hmm. The point is you have to be open and now already the frequency is changing 
now you know when we are have this call to, tonight you know many things are happening you know on, on invisible levels you know so yes. you know when I speak something about that knowledge that comes from some frequency you you didn't reach before or uh, you know you didn't have access before so okay you have already reached today and then you're gonna go next time and next time and next time you know like Every, everything what we learn in life is like this when you repeatedly do something you know you like for example when you start to to, to drive a car mm -hmm. you know can you can you imagine when you go to uh, driving school how you drive the car first time you know you have to look this mirror or look that mirror you know in the back now I can I mean I, I, I could uh, I'm, <laughs> I made um, thousands and thousands of kilometers I could play a cards and uh, eat and uh, talk on the phone and still driving you know yes. <laughs> that is yeah. that is like when you go from unconscious competence level to the conscious competence then you you do it automatically right way so do you think this time you know living in the 21st century is it different than centuries before? How are time, I hear this over and over again, that we live in a very special time right now. And is it due because everyone or most of the um, population on Earth is reaching a point of awakening? Oh, it's not most of the poor. If we, uh, God bless you, really good, good, really good park. <laughs> I'm, putting, I'm putting out the potential there, okay? We're yeah, out great, great, <laughs> great, great, super. Uh, so we, got, we, we will do this in any way, yeah, great talking. Yeah, of course it's different, like um, the whole universe in, in process, you know, if you, if you look in as, uh, astronomy also, a little bit of astrology, uh, like Mayan's calendars and all of this stuff I was interested before as well so in every 26,000 years or something it's a big cycle so we just finish the, that cycle and you can feel it you can feel it that the frequency are much higher on the planet also the the magnitude magnetic field on the planet is uh, it was the two year I, last time I, I, I read this uh, I, I thought in, in the sun till the mid 80s it was like a stable magnetic field and then it raised and now it's raising raising very fast so that is that is what is all about you know so that's why now we we before we didn't even know maybe like uh, our grandmas grandpas uh, mostly they didn't know that they are creators that they are creating yes. you know and now we're going to do uh, we're gonna have this experience everybody gonna have this experience why because everything's happening very fast so it's gonna if you're gonna think negative you go, you're gonna have negative focus it's gonna come very fast to your life very fast yes. before was this maybe 40 50 years something that happened now it's gonna be in a few months or maybe later in weeks or maybe somebody's gonna who's gonna train maybe in the day I don't know <laughs> That's how I feel as well, that, that the experiences are really speeded up. You put something out there and boom. So that's why I am putting the potential out there that everyone is awakening. You know, we're planting the seeds and, and it, will, you know, it will become conscious. And, you know, like we became conscious of, of our own act and our, our own awakening, our desire to know more, to tap into the wisdom and seek the knowledge. And I think that's, and I think sharing this knowledge, also changing the, our connection, don't you think? We are, we're more, we're interested to share, like becoming aware of our own gifts and understand that we're part of one and sharing that gift, we, we help everyone to become healthier, to become more aware. And uh, and speed up the wake up process. Yes, uh, yes, and you are doing a great job as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I mean, that's that's um, that's how I felt. That you know, I went through stages of life where, um, at very young age, I felt very different from everyone else, and and eventually I blocked certain. 
uh, parts of my body because it scared me. I didn't understand what it's about. I didn't want to see what other people cannot see. And, and then later on, I, I realized that, you know, I followed the herd mentality, you know, get an education, follow the, you know, buy the big house, do all those things, what, um, what needs to be done, be a mom. And then in my 40s, I realized there has to be more to life. You know, and that's when I think in stages of life, you come to a new level of awakening. And then answering that call is just listening to that voice. Because if something feels uncertain, that means you are not on the right path. You have to seek what makes you feel whole. And you to, have me, to, yeah. to me, to teach, to educate, to bring knowledge to others is my calling. And if people answer or no, that's okay, you know, but planting the seed of that desire, it will grow. That's, that's my destiny. <laughs> and it might unfold to a different level in 10 years from now. So it's just one of those things that, that that's, that's my calling. And it's wonderful to meet with people like you that we come from similar background and listening to your story and how you how you unfolded your own path of self-realization and awakening. And so you, I heard that you are moving. So what is the near future plan for you? Oh, I don't want to talk much about this now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about me. But uh, actually, uh, for sure, I will... Um, I, will um, I will proceed to, to give the knowledge further. Uh, exactly. more, more than I did so far, more mm -hmm. than I did so far, because just in the last few uh, months and weeks, uh, many many things happened to me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said before, it was uh, I wake up a little bit, you know, from the from the winter sleep. <laughs> now it's yes. now it's spring and summer. It's coming. <laughs> yes. And yeah. do you think that spiritual growth? It's really. I don't see it as a straight line going up. Many times we grow through hills and valleys of, of kind of our own evolution. And sometimes we get lost track, but that simply reminds us that we, that what is our calling? Do you have that experience sometimes? Oh, of course I have this experience. You, you said very well. Uh, and I can tell you, I have a, Another experience as well because I can see the the some uh, more experienced uh, people around me. I I'm a part in one group, you know, where uh, we have a, a one master. It's a really in a high level, and uh, you can see that um, it it could be like this as well. Mm -hmm. But but when you really can see the big picture all the time, every second, you know, every second you are in peace, every second you are in you enjoy and happiness. That is the level like we are reaching. Mm -hmm. You know? So how, is, when, how when, when, you know, when oh, every second you are sure, especially like in your case, you know, when you will be sure that is there somebody that is perfect to, to live with, uh, with you, to, to develop you know, to develop and reach higher levels. I don't know how high you want to go, but there is no limits. So there is no limits. Okay. <laughs> I want to have special powers. <laughs> Great. You're planting the seed. I'm planting the seed. Yeah. Yes. So um, going back to the numbers, you know, but we if you want to have special powers, just, just a moment, but if you want to have special powers, you know, you have to do certain things, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody going to come along the way and tell you, uh, or, uh, you have here some bad programs. What are you going to do with this? Uh, never mind, you know. Okay, if you do this, never mind. Many times uh, special powers cannot happen. Well, of course, you know, it's like in every manifestation, you have to do your work, you know. Um, there is thought, action, and manifestation. Those those steps are necessary to to achieve what we want, and um, 
so when we talked about number 11, for example, I, I know that the number 11 represent duality and spirituality. What other numbers when people come across, if, it's a, if it shows up constantly, what, what should they um, look into it? What, what does it mean when something shows up constantly? If, if, they, know, if they know somebody who have this, this kind of knowledge, they can ask, uh, they can ask him or her uh, what, what this means and uh, for sure some mean, it has some meaning, you know. You have, to work on the, you, ho you have to work on that area in your life, you know. You have to change something if you want to move further. You know, you are yeah. stuck in, a, in one area, you know. And you know, you can have some bad program in one area and if you don't want to, if you, you know, don't want to put it out, you know, it's, it, it goes like a virus, you know, it's attack uh, uh, other levels as well, you know, you mm -hmm. know. If you have uh, some virus maybe uh, in the creativity, it's, it will have, it will attack other levels as well, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's not just here and okay I'm not good in that and there I'm perfect in some uh, in other areas. It's, it's not go like this. So, so if you have a program that is negatively affecting you that means yeah. it will filter through pretty much the whole life, yes? Not just one area but it will uh, it is not necessary to all areas, but but mostly, you know, uh, it when you will be challenged, you know, it will come out, you know, and uh, in that time, you you have to you have a like a opportunity to put it uh, put it away, you know, to clean it. So how, for example, when we run into a challenge, what is your approach to really look at it as a challenge? What is your first step? Do you look at with gratitude or do you look at with you know resentment? What is the emotional state that would help someone to break the cycle faster? Yeah, you have to you have to know that everything what is happening in your life it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. That is the first step you acknowledge, okay, this is a challenge, you know, that is just the higher levels or energy or God or whatever the 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 the, 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 the label you want to put. I don't know what you believe, what you can see. I, I know some people they can see the energy, you know, and mm -hmm. the angels and these angels and they are not only good ones, by the way, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Um, what did you just ask before? <laughs> what I ask is that um, Many times when we run into challenges, should we greet them with gratitude or should we resent them for coming? Because, you know, I think that's where we run into conflict. No, so we should, we, should, we uh, actually, the, from the higher level is like, uh, from highest, highest level is like this, you, we should accept every challenge. So we should look at them with gratitude and I have to agree with you there because when we, um, when we, see it as a messenger, that, that's yeah. how I look at it. It's, it's um, only an opportunity for growth. Yes, it's an opportunity to grow and usually the pain that comes with the challenge, it's asking us to change our perception. I've seen one of your posting that you said that when we change our perception, our chemical balance changes in the body and the problem, what we perceive to be a problem, will disappear. Can you add something to that? I think it's uh, no need to add something. <laughs> <laughs> I answered the question. <laughs> no need to add something. Uh, you know, if we we have now Masaru Emoto on the call, he gonna say uh, because he do uh, did that those experience with the uh, uh, water crystal, he can uh, he can yeah. uh, give like. Uh, like a proof to it, like a science. Scientists already prove everything what I'm speaking, what we are talking here. This is already proved. Now it's just like we are on the move. What are we going to do with this knowledge? Are we going to leave it or are we going to just, aha, uh -huh, okay, just looking at it, you know, because if we're just going to look at the time going to pass, you know, everything we just can lose, we can lose the time. And yes. it's not good to lose the time, you know. Yeah, because, because if, you, if you if you are now if you are on the uh, like a, 
like a special capabilities what you want to have them you said it's it's not uh, like um, the same to you if you're gonna have them uh, in the 10 years or if you're gonna have them in 100 years mm -hmm. huh? yes so just and so it's it's about you what you're gonna do in this in this time between I see so um, tell me about your program that I received an email from you talking about um, that how this program can help someone to change their old wiring and programming and change their perception you know because uh, everybody from us it's uh, from each of us it's like um, when you go for uh, when you live your life and when you meet the people when you meet the partner uh, it's really easy to see in another people what they doing wrong, what they should correct, you know, what they should change that they gonna like uh, move on faster or, or or live life better, you know. But it's uh, it because our perception, like you use this word many times, we we are not like uh, mostly not so capable to look inside of us and really see what what i am doing in this what i did today what why uh, what uh, what i learned today what what came to my life so the 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 what numerology can do you here it will show you what is your program what is your blockage here so you gonna you you and you can really deep understand aha uh -huh, so that is why here Aha! Uh -huh, I'm acting like this. That is why. Aha! Uh -huh, here is this. I my I, and then that's why I feel like a, like somebody squeeze my chest or uh, you know what is going on? Why is happening this? You know to understand why something happened and what you should do with this. You know and and get the technique how to clean this out. What is not good for you? And after that you're gonna have a better life because. You know, if you are on this frequency, I don't know, you can drive this car, you can go to, uh, I don't know, to these vacations. If you move, move higher, you're going to have much more, much, much, um, much more, um, much more many choices, you know. Yeah. I see. Yes. Yeah. So in the program, you work with small groups. And, and you lay down the numbers that represent their old programs and that helps them to see what they need to release or change. Yes? Yeah. That, that they, uh, it will help you to really understand what is going on, you know, why you are here. Uh, like I said, you asked me before, what is our purpose here? The purpose is to clean our soul of this mess, if you want to call it before, because if you are in peace, you know mm -hmm. that that everything gonna fall in a place. Mm -hmm. And so, when we um, understand what is our programming, what would you suggest to the clients? What just you know, if you could give a quick exercise that what they could take away as a gift from the show, what uh, what would you <laughs> what would you recommend them to do? Is it meditate? Is to do forgiveness? Is is to journal? What what is the best tool to really separate ourselves from our story? Huh, yeah, everybody have to 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 find some own tool. But for sure, practice meditation every day. That is uh, that is like a must-have ingredient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that what, is a must-have ingredient, huh? And what is the time frame? Meditation. That means how much time should we meditate? Uh, <laughs> You know, we can meditate. Uh, we can meditate 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It depends. Uh, some of the people said that um, uh, uh, you are like um, older. Like depends on how many years you are. So many minutes you should meditate. That is one rule I heard. Mm -hmm. But uh, in um, in the understanding, it's actually uh, longer you can meditate and if you are really in the flow you know if you don't think if you are capable to put thoughts away or just observe the thoughts if you don't catch them and you know oh, what is this or something you know if you are capable of observing and if you can come to no, no thought state 
it is the best you can meditate two or three hours also. Some of the masters do like this. Because this is like, uh, you know, you you are recharging, you know, like you can you can see yourself like a battery here, you know. You can yeah. see people and they are all like a batteries, you know. We came with it like a, this this battery of energy here and and they are losing this energy all the life and they coming to the 80s, 90s and the energy is gone, you know. They didn't recharge. They didn't find a way how to put negative energy out. They didn't recharge positive energy. They didn't do that. And why they didn't do it is just because they didn't know. Nobody teach them. Yeah. And that is why we have really important uh, quest here because we need to put this knowledge out because it's 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 not necessary to be like this, you know. Mm -hmm. You can you can recharge, you know. So the and way I understand not, that not the only way with meditation, also with uh, more cre creativity and uh, and just important is it that you don't think, but <laughs> most mostly of the. The society are, they are have this quest that they are thinking too much. You know, yeah. they are not they are not in the flow. You know, we think that with the with the more thinking we are gonna get solution. No, you cannot get solution. This is like you 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 have this job here, and I'm searching for some solution here. It's not here. It's up. You know, you have to be open to get a solution. You know. Yeah. Yes. And when you are go to meditation, you can get a solution. So what you're saying is that thoughts are like blockages that doesn't allow the cosmic energy to flow into our body, yes? Exactly. So the less we are in the thinking state, which is, in my opinion, the 21st century man's biggest addiction is the thinking, the mind. <laughs> We're addicted to it. So the less we think, the more we are in the now, the more cosmic energy we get. And I think we do get some while we're sleeping, but it's not, not the same as it, when we meditate. It is, not, it is not enough. It is not enough to do to do like great things in your life. If you want to achieve great things, if you want to achieve your potentials, it's not enough. You know, and, and you, can, you can just look at society what they are doing, what what results they have, and if you're gonna do the same, you're gonna have pretty much the same result. That is, you don't have to be silent for this. I see. So, where, how can we find your website? And when people sign up for your program, how many how many days? What is the time frame for the program? What you offer? Uh, look, it's going to be different kind of things uh, for numerology. This is like a start, you know, just to acknowledge with energy, to feel the flow, uh, to learn uh, to learn meditation with the flow, you know, really, really feel like, a, you know, it happens uh, with almost everybody that they feel the flow already first time, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it depends, uh, like I said, it depends with who you are dealing with, who you are working, uh, what that master have uh, a, uh, access to, what kind of frequencies. This is very important thing, you know. This is very important thing. So what we will do, uh, this numerology I will have like, um, and it's, if it's going to be more people, I have uh, friends in the group, they are all capable, they all have this kind of knowledge. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not many of them, but we are we are some group, you know. So what we will do? Um, uh, I, I said this like uh, five times to uh, per two hours, and mm -hmm. you are you are set. You with this, you're gonna get this frequency, and you're gonna get this knowledge, and you can be one thousand percent sure that on the planet there are just people with knowledge or without knowledge, with good programs or with bad programs. They know how to change program, or they don't know how to change program. That is all about what is going on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you are ready to go on the quest. So and then uh, from further on, it's up to you. You you yeah. because this is not you know from the start is not easy. You know it's really not easy to do when you really. Okay, maybe you you understand on the mental level, but you don't have deeper inside experience what is really 
happening when I go to the challenge. I, I want to act like a totally opposite why you, what I used to act before. What happened in me? Mm -hmm. You know? And, and why I should do that? Mm -hmm. to, to, to have a deeper understanding why. Why you should do that. Mm -hmm. Well, fantastic. Well, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I will find out more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No problem. I, I, just, I just will set a new website. It's going to be like uh, uh, out in a few days. But uh, one of my websites is uh, secretsofuniverse.com. Uh, mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Bosniak, for, um, for this lovely, lovely <laughs> conversation. I mean, I learned so much um, from you because it is tapping into the numbers, you know, raising our vibration and, um, and coming to this plane to, to clean and learn what is our sole purpose is probably one of the intentions what we set before we came here. So exactly. I, yes, yeah. so I yes, honored, exactly this one. Yes, so I honored to have you on the show and share your knowledge, and uh, we'll post your website for our viewers to to visit and 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 utilize your tools what you have to offer because I'm really intrigued by it as well. So thank you very much. Do you want to say anything to our viewers? Yes, uh, that. Like you said, we are all in, on the quest. You know, we said, we said uh, before we came here, we set this quest. We we decide that we're gonna do this quest. We decide that we're gonna fight for the true and to the light. You know, and that we're gonna help others as well. And uh, there is no coincidence who whoever is on this call today mm -hmm. uh, have something to do with it. That is for sure. Everybody ha has got something today. Uh, I got something for you as well. And uh, uh, yeah, I wish that uh, we we move on faster because the time is uh, um, planet give uh, give us now the the really great opportunity to move faster to have really greater life, greater experience in the life. Really, you know, and travel all around. There are so many secrets. Like quote secrets uh, around the around our planet. This is unheard of, really. So this is it's many, many places to see. I, I I one of my goals is for sure travel all around. I used to travel already a lot, but it's it's like a a drop in the sea. What I what I'm planning to do. <laughs> You know, because it's really a uh, planet is really beautiful and interesting, yes. and uh, it's so many things to learn and uh, to grow and to to give further. Okay. Exactly. So, um, what I call this journey is the awakening from the amnesia. You know, we born, we forget who we are, and the and the name of the game is to be awakened. Yes. And, exactly. Uh, Thank you very much. It was lovely to have you, and um, see you guys next time. Bye. All right. So, get awakened. Get awakened. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.